everyone and welcome back to Wonderland Explorers. Today we're here at Disney Springs to try something flavorful. Well, all kinds of flavors to be exact. The Salt and Straw, a fun new ice cream place right here at Disney Springs and you don't have to ask us twice to come and try it out. Yeah, and you don't have to go to the West Coast to try it out anymore either. So Salt and Straw started in Portland, Oregon. They specialize in like really kind of fun, localized flavors. Yeah. They try to like farm sustainably. So it seems like a pretty conscious brand that has really good things to try out. And again, why would we not want to eat ice cream? I know all of you like it too. Yeah, and it's slowly growing throughout our nation. So we're glad that we're one of those stops. Yeah, so come along with us as we explore. local farmers and growers to make like the freshest of the ice creams that they can with the freshest ingredients but they have a really fun series it's a limited edition for right now but it's flavors that were designed by kids I know they're like nine and ten years old but the bottomless slime the ice cream of moo triple tropic twist rosie the pink flamingo and the adventurous laminot and they really have quite a selection of classic flavors too Oh, this is going to be hard to pick out. I mean, there's so many nice looking options here. So if you're wondering, Salt and Straw is located here on the west side of Disney Springs. It's in between the Sosa Cigar Shop and the AMC Theaters. So if you want to go catch a movie and grab an ice cream or just walk around the springs, I don't know how you can't beat this. So I'm very excited to see what this stuff tastes like. We love Ben & Jerry's, we love handmade ice cream, we all this, this is, this is getting us going here. You know how much we like ice cream, you know? We, we don't want to relate it to Twisty Treat, but I think I might have to stack it against Twisty Treat, because that's our, that's our favorite so far here in the area. also have a lot of cool merchandise you can buy. They have a cooling bag in case you want to take a pint with you to go. They also have a whiff of the waffle cone, like a spray and a candle. They even have cool like, cold cups. I love Florida mugs. They also have their own salt and straw ones and a tote bag as well. Hint. If you didn't want to stand in line and you already know what flavors you love, you can actually just come right up, grab your pint, and get it to go. That's service right there. All right, so you can tell we got to eat these things quick. I mean, Florida and ice cream does not mix. I mean, it tastes very good and refreshing, but look at look at the melting situation we got going on. So it was six ninety five for a single scoop. Plus, you had to pay another two dollars just to get a waffle cone. So it's six ninety five in a cup, and then two dollars for the waffle cone, which I think is kind of pricey for a single serve ice cream. Um, but the store was really tiny on the inside. I thought, it, I don't know why, I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger. And then there was some confusion like, you know, with the, the ticket machine and then they, there was an annual pass, there was an annual pass discount. It was kind of confusing. So all in all, it was like $19 for two ice cream cones. It's kind of pricey, but you went with the ooey gooey chocolate brownie, right? And I got the salted malted uh, cookie dough, but <laughs> my God, we need to get into this. So. Okay, let's go. Okay. So you definitely get a salted chocolate chip cookie dough flavor out of that. It's very good. I can't say it's anything that's like crazy to write home about. The waffle, I think the waffle cone's pretty average. Um, I think for this I'd give it like a three and a half out of five. I still think Twisty Treat's better. <laughs> All right, let's try the ooey gooey chocolate brownie. Oh, that's very good. I think I like this a little bit better. I'd probably like mix the two. I think you can do like mixed scoops. That's what they were saying in the shop. And again, the wa same waffle cone. I'd give this like a four out of five. But overall, not, not too bad. Scoops on scoops on scoops. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Oh yeah, you can definitely, it's creamy, it's salty. I had to like hold these out because they're like dripping. You don't want to drip them on your shoes. <laughs> um, 
that is really good. I like the saltiness of this one with the cookie dough. That's a great flavor combo. It's creamy. It's wonderful. Ooh, look, there's actually like chunks of brownie in that one, which I really enjoy. And I will tell you, it's unlimited sampling in there. So you can definitely try and try until you find your flavor that you love, which is good. I, I give them both like a four and a four. I, I like the flavors. I do think they're a little pricey for what you get. Like the whole cone isn't filled with ice cream or anything. It's just like one scoop on top. So yeah, we, we definitely got to eat these real quick. <laughs> the struggle is very real. You have to like hold it over the pole. I mean, it's a messy situation. Yeah. We got some, we got some stage down here. It's the casualties of war. Yeah, I feel bad about that. So I'm trying to like not make a mess. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, it's Florida. What are you gonna do? I, I think the more we get into this, I would uh, I would definitely suggest a cup for this. <laughs> it's just, maybe. If you want a cone? I would say like, can I have it on the side? Yeah, because this is this is a very sticky situation. <laughs> Yeah, and it's not even like summer yet. No. So. Drip. Drip. Hey, it has went down the cone though, the ice cream, I would say. Yeah. Like, I didn't think it would be that amount, but it's gone down well with it. Like, I'm halfway down the cone and it's still a good amount of ice cream. Yeah. Could be a, a little bit to do with the melting situation. Maybe. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I know. Casualties. White shoe casualty. You ever noticed that every time you wear something white, why do you always wear it around food? And then you wear it around food and then it gets stained. It happens to everybody. Yeah. It's just like a thing. It's it's like, oh look at these pretty white pants I just got. I'm gonna do the perfect situation. We're gonna go out for Italian food tonight. And then you get pasta sauce on them. So your name. Yeah. So how do, you, how do you think this compares to uh, Ghirardelli? I actually like this better than Ghirardelli. Yeah. But I think like for the ice cream wise, but I like like the hot fudge and the caramel yeah. a little bit better over at the Ghirardelli factory. Yeah, I, I would say that. I like their chocolates, yeah. but I'm not a fan of like their, their sundaes at times. They smell so good, but I, th I like the ice cream better here if you're just doing it solely on ice cream. Yeah. I, I think you? for the money, I would go get the Sunday. Just personally, yeah, if you're gonna get an ice cream treat, I, I just think it's a better, better buy. Yeah, because I want to say like it's about that much for two Sundays over there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. And I, I will, I will show the continuous casualties of the chocolate cone. <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> All right, Shanae. So we've just finished eating. Our salt and straw ice cream cones. Lots of drippage. <laughs> lots of feelings. Lots of lots of thoughts. So, what would you think? I like the ice cream. I thought it was really good. I, I kind of understand, like maybe why it might be a little bit more expensive, just because they try to use like all natural things within their ice cream and keep it healthy. And there is vegan options as well. But I also understand too that's a little pricey for two ice cream cones. Yeah. So. I don't know. It's like a balancing act. It's a, it's what you want, but I think it is good. It yeah. is good, good ice cream. It does have a lot of flavor, or the chocolate brownie one did anyway. Yeah, yeah. I, I liked mine, but I'm just gonna be brutally honest. I think twenty dollars for two ice cream cones is very expensive, and if you come here with a family of like four or five, that's crazy. Especially like if you just had dinner. So, I again, I I kind of see why it's that much, but at the same time too, like I didn't think it was that. Personally, I didn't think it was that phenomenal to be like, this is a $10 ice cream cone. So that was just me. I think if you want to spend $10, I would go get a Sunday at Ghirardelli's. That's just my opinion. Or you can spend $6 and get a cookie over at Gideon's. Or I'll even one up that. You go to Hot Cookie Hour at Gideon's with the ice cream and the cookie, and I think it comes in at like eight bucks. Or you have that place. Or, 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 right? You can go on and on forever. That's the hard part. Which yeah. treats do you choose when you come? But I think a fun thing about that is it is unlimited sampling. So you can try like all the flavors if you actually really wanted to. Yeah, it was a fun thing to know. Yeah, yeah. and they had, they had some like obscure flavors too. They like did. just something that was like a little different. They had what was like a, uh, a salted donut. agave donut with cheese or something. I tried that and I was like, this is actually like, 
kind of good. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't get a cone of it, but I was <laughs> I was surprised. Yeah. 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 So that's kind of a fun thing. You could come and try that too as well. Yeah. So overall, I would give Salt and Straw like a three and a half out of five. I would agree with that. Yeah. I think they do have a solid ice cream. It does have a lot of flavors to choose from. Yeah. It's good. It's creamy. It's just a little on the pricier side. another beautiful afternoon here at Disney Springs. Yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed coming out, seeing Salt and Straw, hearing our review. We always hope that it helps you guys out in your planning. Always try it for yourself though. It's true, I would agree. Yeah, if you guys liked the video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And as always, until next time, friends. Bye. bye.